Greetings, fellow Earthlings. Ever wondered how we brave astronauts handle our business in the vastness of space? Hold on to your space helmets, because today, I'm taking you on a cosmic journey through the mysteries of the zero-gravity potty. Before we plunge into the nitty-gritty, here's a teensy favor to ask. If you're savoring our videos and hungering for more mind-blowing content like this, don't let that like button escape your radar, and do a little subscribe jig with our channel. Your support is like cosmic fuel for us. Picture this. You're millions of miles away from home, surrounded by stars and stardust. But when nature calls, you can't just pop into the nearest intergalactic restroom. Oh no, gravity's not your trusty companion up here. In the early days of space travel, things got a bit messy. Alan Shepard, the first American in space, discovered that pedicament the hard way. Alan Shepard made history in 1961 when he became the first American to fly in space. His flight was only supposed to last 15 minutes, so there was no plan for him to use the bathroom. However, the launch was delayed for over three hours after Shepard climbed into the rocket. By the time the launch was finally cleared, Shepard was bursting to go. He asked Mission Control if he could exit the rocket to pee, but they told him that it would be too risky to open the hatch. Instead, they told him that he could safely pee inside his spacesuit. Shepard reluctantly agreed, and he became the first American in space with damp underwear. Sorry, Alan, but damp undies were not the fashion statement we were aiming for. But don't worry, my friends. Let's fast forward to the International Space Station. We've got a super cool bathroom vacuum now. No more damp disasters or floating surprises. NASA spent a whopping $23 million on this state-of-the-art space throne in 2018. It's got everything, handholds, footholds, and even a fancy funnel for the number one business. And when it's time to drop a deuce, we've got a tiny throne fit for cosmic royalty. The seat may be smaller, but hey, size doesn't matter when it comes to zero gravity pooping. When you're an astronaut, they have them train uh, because the hole for the bathroom is very tiny. Yeah and you have to aim <laughs> and so just to test it out like before the astronauts even go up into space there's just like a okay sit and try to like line everything up and most people think their hole is not where they think it is so it's wow. really funny i'm trying to figure out how to best <laughs> tell this story the toilet works its magic with the power of suction like a space vacuum cleaner no pesky drifts, no unwelcome odors, just good old controlled sanitation, straight out of sci-fi dreams. And the first thing you want to do is grab this piece of equipment and turn this rotary switch 90 degrees to the open position. It turns on a fan, which creates a suction effect in this hose, so that you can use this yellow element for your number one. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same, suction. We have a solid waste container here, and on top of it is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan, so that, again, the same suction effect allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. Now you might wonder, what happens after the deed is done? Fear not, eco-conscious earthlings. We recycle pee into clean, drinkable water. Today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. Urine consists of over 90% water content. Given the weight and volume occupied by water, recycling urine becomes a more efficient option than transporting fresh water from Earth. Astronauts' urine is gathered, processed, and transformed into potable water, ensuring a sustainable water supply. As for the other business, well, it's time for a grand finale. The mighty cargo ship sails back to Earth, carrying our celestial souvenirs, including flaming astronaut Pooh, so the next time you make a bathroom pit stop on Earth, remember to thank gravity for its celestial assistance. And next time you spot a shooting star, who knows? It might be our bathroom deeds making their grand exit. Did you enjoy this video? Let us know in the comments. And for more great content, be sure to check out our next video.